Okay, so if you pause the video and have a go at this mix starter for a moment. Alright, excellent. So let's go through this. Okay, so the first one, I'm going to draw the grid method in. So you've got the 3x, add the 5 goes on the top. You put the 2x minus 7 down the side. And then we're going to do our four time sums. So you end up with 6x squared, 10x. That's minus 7 times 3x is minus 21x. And that'd be minus 35. Put those two bits together. So you end up with 6x squared. 10x take away 21x is minus 11x. And minus 35. Solving this. Well, the first thing I don't like is this divide 7 on the bottom. So I'm going to times by 7. So you end up with 9x add 5 equals 77 minus 7x. So I look at now which is the smallest amount of x's. Well, that's this lot, the minus 7x. So I'm going to add 7x to both sides. So that vanishes and that becomes 16x add 5 equals 77. Then we take the 5 off both sides. So I've got 16x equals 72. And I'm going to divide by 16. So x equals, I can't do that in my head, so I'm going to leave it as 72 over 16. Leave it as a fraction, unless you've got a calculator. What's the size of one interior angle in a regular pentagon? So pentagon means 5. So we start by saying a three-sided shape all adds up to 180 degrees inside. Four-sided shape adds up to 360 degrees. And a five-sided shape adds up to 540 degrees. Okay. So to find one size angle, you do 540 divided by 5. That's 1, 0, carry the 4, 108 degrees. So that equals 108 degrees. The final question. So we've got two-thirds add four-fifths. I need to get these two bottom numbers to be the same. Now, the quickest way of doing that is by going, what's the smallest number, the lowest common multiple of 3 and 5? And that's 15. What have I times this one by to get there? Well, I've times 3 by 5 to get there. So I times this by 5. So I get 10 over 15. And what have I times this by to get there? 3. So I times the top by 3 is 12. Then I add, so my answer stays over 15, and I add the top two numbers. 10 add 12 is 22. Now we can write that as a mixed number. 15 goes to 22 once with 7 left over, and it's still over 15. Okay, excellent. So today, we're going to be looking at how to round significant figures. All of us will analyse how to round to a specific number of significant figures, and most of them practice using typing complicated calculations into our calculators and then rounding the answer. All right, and we'll finish with a GCSE question on this. Okay, so the key to rounding, um, I'm going to sing you a little song, the rounding rap, okay? I, I can't take credit for this myself. I got this off YouTube, um, but it goes a, li a little bit like this. So it's to the tune of We Will Rock You, okay? So if you get the rhythm going, Find your place, look next door, five or greater, add one more, everything to the left stays the same, everything to the right, zero your way. We will, we will round you. Okay, so that's the basics of how to round a number. And what we're going to do is we're going to look at that specifically with significant figures now. So here we go. Here's our significant figures. So we start counting these from the first digit, the first number that is not zero. And that's start always counting from the left. Once you start counting, you count each digit. That includes any zeros you might have. This tells you what place you're looking for. Then we round as normal. Okay. So if you look at the first one, we're rounding this to one significant figure. Okay. So if I've got that number again, I'm just going to write it underneath, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I find my place, the first digit that isn't a 0, and that's the 2. 
okay I look next door at the three five or greater add one more is that five or greater no nope. so I don't add one more the two stays the same everything to the left stays the same everything to the right zeros your name so that becomes 20,000 and that's my answer this one again start with a number find my place two significant figures that's one two that's the three look next door is a four that's not five or greater so i don't add one more so that stays as a three everything to the left the two stays the same everything to the right zero is your name twenty-three thousand. okay now three significant figures two three four five six three significant figures so that's one two three that's a four next number is a five so five or greater we add one more so we add one onto that four to make it a five everything to the left stays the same everything to the right zero is your name nice and easy there now this is where significant figures really comes into its own rather than using decimal places or the nearest ten hundred or thousand okay so rounding this to one significant figure so I'm going to start by writing the number again then it says find my place so I find the first digit that isn't zero that's the two again um, look next door is a three five or greater add one more so it's not five or greater so I keep the same so that stays as a two I've got no point no 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 because that's everything to the left stays the same everything to the right zeros your name now as it's after a decimal point we don't need to write all the zeros after the number so I can just stop it there two significant figures again write out your number um, find the f so we start counting from the first digit isn't zero that's a two next one is a three so that's the second significant figure the fours next number five or greater add one more four is not five so that stays as a three everything to the left stays the same everything to the right again zero is your name but as it's after a decimal we don't need to write it the final one three significant figures one two three four write out your number again and again we start counting from the first number that isn't a zero that's the two one two three so that's my third significant figure my five is the next number five or greater add one more so i add a one on to the four that'd be three two one two three four zero because everything to the left stays the same everything to the right zero is your name but as it's after a decimal point i don't need to write it in okay so you should now be able to have a go at the worksheet that's provided i will put some work solutions online for you as well excellent okay okay so the next bit is we're going to use a calculator then we're going to round our answers to one two and three significant figures this is now getting a bit more like a GCSE question so here's my calculator hope you can see it so these these things here I'm going to add a few brackets because my calculator automatically adds a bracket after after the after the um, trigonom tr trigonometric function so I need to close the bracket otherwise it, it messes up my calculation okay so firstly you see I've got it as a fraction so I'm going to press the fraction button here to make my calculator into a fraction then it's 6 sine 23 close the bracket add 7 cos 42 close the bracket all over 8 tan 43 close the bracket again then I press equals and I've got this number on my calculator you see my calculator looks exactly like it the question does I'm going to write down the whole display 1.01156547 I do that because on an exam question it asks me to write down the whole display I'm just going to work this one out and then we'll do the rounding in a moment okay so this one i'm starting with because i've got the big square root on the outside so i start with the square root which is this button then i press the fraction button and now i've got the square root with the fraction in can we see 
yeah and then i'm going to type in everything else 2.3 sign 37 remember to close brackets after you've done that add 4.1 cos 54 close the bracket all over 2.3 tan 64 and again close that bracket and that gives you the answer 0.89696401.9 okay now let's get on with the rounding element of this now so to one significant figure at 1.01156 there's my one my first significant figure next number is a zero so i don't add one onto that so that just becomes one that's it nothing else the two significant figures well there's the first one that's zero that's one two so i have to count zeros now once i start counting significant figures next numbers are one so it doesn't round up it stays as a zero everything to the left stays the same and i don't need anything else but i do need to keep the 1.0 there to show i've done it to two significant figures and three significant figures So that's one two three next numbers are one so that doesn't change that's 1.01 i don't need to have all those extra zeros afterwards so on this one again i'm just going to write out the number that should be more than enough one significant figure well i start counting from the first one that isn't zero so that'll be the eight next numbers are nine so that i add one onto that that becomes nine Everything else to the left stays the same. And again, as it's after decimal point, I don't need all the zeros. The next one. So we start again by listing all those numbers. It's two sig figs, so that's one, two. Next number is a six, so I add one on. If I've added one on to nine, it becomes ten. So actually, I need to think of that as 89 almost and make it 90. But I still need to keep that zero. And then everything to the left stays the same. And finally, the last one, 0 0.896976. Um, three significant figures, that's one, two, three. Next numbers are nine, so that adds one onto there. So that'll become 0 0.897. Okay, you have a go at the bottom half of that worksheet. And again, I will put some work solutions online for you. Finally, our GCSE exam question plenary, because this is taken off a past paper. So have a go at working it out first, just to check your understanding. Pause the video, try and work it out, and then I'll go through the answer with you. Okay, now you've had a go. I'm going to start by pressing the fraction button this time. We've got 53.2, add square root of 99.05, all over, no, oh, no point. 193 so make it look exactly like it should and that gives me this answer 275.4009671 it does ask me to write down all the digits on my calculator so that's what i've done it then says write this answer correct to two significant figures so that's one two that's a seven next number is a five so that seven becomes an eight the thing to the left stays the same Thing to the right zero is your name but then i don't need to put anything after decimal point because that would all be zeros all right excellent hope you found that useful and interesting um second lesson is all about estimation